So therapeutically, when we're working um, with, with ego state therapy, therapeutically, several things that we need to be aware of. First and foremost, um, where does it fit into the um, therapeutic process? Well, it is a psychodynamic element it is insight gaining it is a form of analysis therefore it is certainly 100 percent not a first line therapy you must always 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 stabilize the client out before any ego state work is carried out um so you don't do ego state work to begin with whatever your discipline is whether it's hypnotherapy or any counseling or whatever you stabilize you do work in the here and now building up their strength before you get to that part in which you're then going to open up the ego states and start that an analytical um, approach and very also very important you don't just do the uh, est stuff and then say right that's it goodbye you then need to do maintenance of change work in whichever discipline you are outside of ego state therapy once the est has been completed so it's you know stabilize them in whichever way is right for your therapy discipline the process of change comes in as part of the ego state was the ego state work and as we'll talk about shortly it also links in with other um, techniques and then after you've done that change process you then do the maintenance of change in whatever discipline that um, you're working in and always remember sometimes you have to you know something might then come up in the maintenance of change which means you might have to go all the way back to stabilization or something comes up and you have to go back into doing ego state work it's not a nice linear approach most of the time